It's a very sort of a touching film, if you like. It's quite dark and it's a thriller and it has lots of things that can shock and keep, you know, the action fans uh, on the edge of their seats. But it does have a very strong sort of a, a very strong sort of meaning about, you know, right and wrong. It's about, you know, people, people that are vulnerable getting taken advantage of. And, you know, Adam Clay is a man that comes and sets those things and uh, course corrects those moments. It's hard to really describe this film, but kind of what I've been telling people, like the short version of it, is it's like an epic vengeance story about a guy who has a very peculiar set of skills. He keeps bees, which is very weird, but he's also part of this large organization of beekeepers that are these super secret kind of government high level assassins, basically. And I get on his wrong side, and he basically is on a, a kill streak of trying to to get to me to take down this this evil corporation that I've set up, which robs old people of their life savings. So it's a story of of searching for justice and really like what does justice mean and how that looks for different people's perspectives. I'm a beekeeper. Protect the hive. Sometimes I use fire to smoke out hornets. Well, there's a you know there's a there's a group of people that you know this kind of goes on every day uh, and. You know, they're essentially they're scammers, uh, and they, you know, they make a phone call or they send an email, uh, and they, you know, they get people's uh, attention by saying that they have a virus in their computer or something, and you know, they people don't want to, don't know how to deal with those things, especially the elderly, uh, and the elderly are the people that they target because you know they kind of so they live solitary lives, they don't have people to look out for them and protect them like you know young people do. So they, uh, you know, that's their first line of attack is to get their fingers into the bank accounts of the old and the vulnerable. And, you know, as their life savings go down the pan, everything gets, you know, siphoned out uh, and there's no accountability for this. It just goes on and it's, um, it's a terrible, terrible thing that happens in society. It happened to my great grandma, which is funny. I just actually just now realized that like why my great grandma is probably a few years ago. She's still alive. She's like 94 and drinks bourbon. She's amazing. But she was uh, one night. She calls my little brother and she's like, "Connor, I can't. I can't take this anymore. You have to tell your family." My brother's like, "Grandma, what are you talking about?" And and she's like, "Connor, don't don't please. I can't take it anymore." And she's like, "He's like, Grandma, I don't know what you're talking about." And she's like, "You called me two nights ago and said that you got arrested and you'd had too many glasses of champagne after someone's wedding, and you got arrested and you needed money to get you out of prison, but not to tell anybody." And my brother's like, "Oh no, no, Grandma, that I didn't do that." She's like, "Yes, you did." And she, I guess, like somebody called her and she went to like Walmart and bought Apple gift cards and then scratched off the back and then read the like did that whole thing. And it's evil, man. It's evil. And like my grandma is such a sweet woman. <laughs> And like she wants to help everybody, but she is susceptible in ways, you know. And and she answers the, her house phone, which she still has every time. And it's just, you know, it's 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 evil. It's 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 pretty it's pretty dark. I'm on Clay's side, man. Get him, take him down, take me down. <laughs> Clay.